Hi, this is Kaylee. You're watching Analytics and Minutes. I wanted to show you just different things you can do with GA4 and the Data Studio dashboard to display uh, your KPIs to your clients. So here's a quick GA4 dashboard. Along the top, you can select your default um, channel. You can select a specific country, or this could be a region or a city, depending on if you're doing local or international or national SEO, and then your date range you can set here. Along the top, you have your major KPIs, new users, sessions, engagement rate. So the percent of users, the page was in the forefront of their browser window uh, for about 10 seconds or longer. And then conversions, the events we've set within GA4 as conversions. Now your comparison here, you can set your date range for anything. On the top left, we have a pie graph, which is the different channels bringing in new users. We can switch our metric here quickly to conversions and back again. Here is our interactive map. You can click on the map and drill down to see where your new users are coming from. And we can also quickly change this from new users to conversions to see where the conversions are coming from. And that's the interactive map. Um, this is a bar line graph over time. And you can set that to any metrics. I chose conversions and new users because those are our major KPIs on this site. The bottom is a table. So this is uh, in the top right where you'll set your event name. Let's say you want to know how many files were downloaded or where file downloads are coming from. I select my event here. And here I can see which channel. So I'm most interested in organic search. I'm going to drill down, select a specific source that I'm interested in. And then I will be able to see how many file downloads happened through Google Organic. And here's the full URL, which I can click and that will open up uh, in a new tab. Back to our sheet, we can just click forward and now we have um, our Search Console data. Again, you'll notice along the top, we have our date range. We can drill down to the specific country device category if you wanna see how desktop or mobile is doing. Um, and then we have our major KPIs for Search Console along the top with our um, overall, our year, with our year back look um, for how impressions and clicks are changing. We can also change this to average position. Um, and then that's going to be all keywords in whichever country we have limit, uh, noted it here. And the next table is going to be, we can search by a specific query. So let's say, this site's really working in NFT, right? All the search queries that include NFT and how they're ranking and clicks and impressions. And the comparison date range, you can change to whatever you need. And then down here at the bottom, we will have the full page URL and the number of new users and conversions. This data is pulled from GA4, and that is a clickable link. Uh, the one other one that I do is just really narrowing into a specific uh, topic that your content marketing team has been uh, working towards. So those are just a few things you can do with Google Analytics for data in uh, Data Studio.